If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can rename items in the list to change their names. You can also often rename items in the same list to the exact same thing as another existing list entry to merge the two items into one. Merging list items lets you fix mistakes that can happen when multiple people perform data entry in lists. For example, assume you created a service in your products and services list for mowing. Later, another employee creates a new service for mow lawn, not realizing you already created that service. You can rename the mow lawn service to mowing to merge that service into the existing service. Merging employees with existing payroll data is not allowed. Also, products with quantity on hand tracking cannot be merged. To rename list items, you must open the editing window of the list item to rename. Then change the name of the item. Then save your changes in the editing window to instantly change the item's name. To merge an item with another item in the same list requires you to know the exact name of the item to keep. Also, if merging customers or vendors, you must also change the display name as field to the exact same thing as the existing item to keep, as QuickBooks Online uses the display name as the matching field. However, the process is essentially the same as renaming items. First, open the editing window of the list item to rename and merge. Then change the name and possibly the display name as value of that item so it is exactly the same as the name of the item with which to merge this item. Then save the changes in the editing window to open a new window that then says that name is already being used. Would you like to merge the two? To merge the items, click yes to merge the two items into one. To cancel the merge, click no. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.